Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. And then I'm going to manually set this one, uh, I'm going to set the hired help going down this edge of the field right here. Like that. And off you trot. Right, so you can go and do that little bit. Finish doing that job for us, and then we will rake in our cash. So next up, I've got you, and I was considering now going and taking all the fertilizer jobs using our own tractor. We've got a lot of fertilizer jobs here. We've also got a lot of harvest jobs, so I kind of figured that we could do everything all at once. Uh, three, four, six, eight, eleven, fourteen. The only stipulation is that I don't do any cotton jobs. There is no cotton on the map at the moment, so we don't have to worry about that. So we will uh, accept contract on all of the fertilizer jobs. Every single one of them. Accept contract all the way through. And then I can just work through the fields in order, I think. Take you. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. 25 over there. Right, that's all of those. I've got harvesting jobs to go and do as well. We'll deal with them in a minute. So I've got 634 up here to go and do. We've got field 25, one over there on his own. I might actually go and do field 25 first because it's kind of like off on a different bit. That is seed that we've got in the back of our pickup, which is not much use to us at the moment. What I'm th right, I've not got enough fertilizer in here, but what I was actually thinking is it would be very nice to go and buy back the trailer that we used previously. Now, I know that we do also want to go and get a tractor, but this trailer that we were using previously, this would be brilliant for carrying stuff around and be a lot quicker and easier than loading the pallets manually onto the back of the pickup and running them around. We can get more in this one as well. Uh, plus, we got two different lots that we can put in there. So we can put seed and we can put fertilizer in there if we want to. Um, seriously considering that one. At the moment, I'm not going to get it, though. Do I have any? I don't have any other fertilizer here. So I've got 137 liters of fertilizer. I... Don't think that's going to be enough. I kind of want to just go whizzing off up to the top. But I think what I'm going to do before I go up the field 25, because we will just we'll whiz up the field 25. Uh, before I go and do that, if I take this one, we've got this bit of seed in here. I'm going to actually unload this down at the dealership. And I'm going to buy two pallets of fertilizer. I'm going to load them into the back of this pickup with the... Um, the forklift down there and then we'll take two pallets of fertilizer. I can bring it back over to our yard and we can just to start off with um, top up the fertilizer spinner and then get that job out over to field 25. Once field 25 job is underway I can then get a combine or two back here at this place. Ah, there's the weed killer. Right there, herbicide. All right, so we got we got the herbicide right there. Just wondering if herbicide is empty. He's already emptied out. If you have a look at that right there, he's already emptied out and he's hardly done anything at all. So we're gonna need to be able to sort of service both of these, which is a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna. Go like that a minute, and I'm going to undo that one. And then I'm going to go over to the forklift on here, and we've got a little bit of work to do. So first up, before I go and do the... See, I want to get the... I want to I wanna load that other one up with fertilizer. But help the air for stop work unexpectedly, because i got nothing to do in there either. I wonder if maybe I could just... No, I can't run it down with this one. It's kind of a bit cheaty, that is. Uh, no, I don't really want to go and buy the other trailer that we had to start with either because there's only 103 litres of seeds in this one. I can't sell part pallets. Why we can't sell part pallets in this game, I don't know. Like, we buy the pallet from here. Why can't we sell a little bit back? 
It doesn't, like, I don't think it would be a game-breaking feature to allow us just to sell off a little bit of extra seed here and there. I think it would be a useful feature, game-breaking in the slightest. And you, oh, seriously, 18 litres? All right, well, I'll take that, and I'll have to take another pallet as well, and I'll have to take that down to the other field, and I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to buy a couple of pallets of um, fertilizer and bring them here. Okay, so I get that one there. So we're go I'm going to need to get a pallet of this herbicide right here. That's 2,400 details. Buy that bad boy. That's 2,000 liters. That's going to be more than enough to finish the field. So back out of here, back again, over to the big bags, and we go to solid fertilizer here. Now this is 2,000 euros for 1,000 litres of this. One, and two, three, four. Right, that's all of the fertilizer that I can buy. What I'm going to need to do is I'm just going to have to get the other tractor down here. We've got four pallets of fertilizer here. I'll just have to drive it down over here, grab a bit from this one, and then drive back over to our yard and take the shortcut up through our own land up the top. Uh, we got a whole load of grass. We could actually start doing some mowing on our own land and do something with that, but we don't have the money at the moment in order to start converting that to, well, anything, because... I kind of wanted to turn it into hay. That was that was kind of the, the big thing that I wanted to do, was turn it into hay. I thought that would be quite cool. So let's just stop that one there. Actually, you know what? This one can now go and just go and be put away. I will close up the back of that pickup. So you go over here like this. Stop there. And you come over here. Now, I'll tell you what, actually. Oh. I didn't think you were still running. Oh well. Right, that one's finished. The other one's almost finished. We'll take you here and we will run you down to the dealership and we will get that bit of fertilizer loaded into here and take you up the field 25 and get that odd field up there out the way first. Get that one sprayed with fertilizer and then that one's done and then we can sort of start we'll go back through and we'll start working through all the other ones as well i said before about the trains and how they i don't like the way that we don't hardly get any warning um with the barriers coming down but they take too long after like the uh, there's well basically I, I was saying it was, it was, we just don't get enough warning when the barrier is coming down on the trains and I stand by that I don't think we get enough warning but what we do have is a really really long period after the train has gone by before we can the barriers come back up again and it seems to be the wrong way round this is the bit that uh, I was like um, this was a point that I was trying to make, was because it was pointed out that I then I also spend quite a bit of time trying to adjust the train so that I'm exactly at the right spot between two sets of barriers in order. There's the train right now, and look, see, it comes down there, and there's no warning at all. Right, there is almost no warning at all before he goes through. He's gone through. He should start lifting now, but he doesn't. See how far away that train has got to get before that barrier starts lifting. And there is a discrepancy between the two, I feel. I think that the barrier should start lifting a long time before it does. And that means that it could all be adjusted so that you get more warning when the train is turning up. And the barrier comes down sooner and you still don't have the situation arise where the train is blocking two roads. I think that there could be a happy medium achieved between them. And at the moment, I don't feel that that happy medium is there in the slightest. I don't think that there is any medium at all, happy or otherwise. It just doesn't seem to be fitting very well. The barrier comes down the very last possible second. And there doesn't seem to be any particularly logical reason for it. Um, I was going to cut across our own land for this, but I don't really think I need to. 
Once we've done all of the fertilizer jobs, we could go back and do more grass cutting. We've got all of our fields here. Uh, we can set the hired help doing most of the cutting. We've got our tractor. We'll have more money by the time we've done all of this. So we could, in theory, buy ourselves a baler and do some jobs like that. I was... I'm in an iron about getting a baler at all in this series. I don't want to do any silage bales, but several of you have said that you wouldn't mind me getting a baler and doing some stuff with bales in here, so maybe, you know, we, we could go and do that. What baler we have, I don't really know. I mean, I have actually considered getting a... Um, let me just... Yeah, we go. Uh... I have actually considered getting a small baler and seeing if we could do small bales and gathering those up. There are a couple of different methods that we could use for gathering up small bales. Picking them up by hand and stacking them by hand on a trailer is not a method that I am interested in doing. I know that it is theoretically possible to do it in this game. However, theoretically possible and me doing it are two entirely different things. And in this case... Those two entirely different things are not going to interact in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to let that one go there now, and we need to go back to you. Fire you up. I'm going to close that one first. He's going to go all over the place and go a little bit crazy. Let's put some straps onto it. So I've got a pallet of herbicide here, plus 18 liters. We'll get this down to field 16. And then we can unload the 18 litres, which is the front pallet. And then I can undo the straps and move the pallet around it a little bit. And I mean, I might... I'm wondering whether I should try and just dump this one in the field down there and not worry about it. I guess I don't need to at the moment. There isn't any other herbicide jobs at the moment. So eventually, I'm going to have to drive that little Deutsch tractor all the way back home again. And I'll be honest, it's not a task I'm particularly looking forward to. Because it's such a slow job moving that tractor anywhere at all. Very, very tempting just to use the reset button and reset it to the dealership. But I'm not going to do that. This is hardcore. We're supposed to be hardcore. And that's not hardcore. I am going to drive on the field. not damaging the field, is it? No. Right. So I am going to drive on the field. I'm going to bring you to there, and we'll see if that does actually start loading. Nope. Let's start the engine then, and... How close have we got to get? Right. I might actually have to fold this one up. So I'll bring it in... There. Alright. Let's go to the side of the truck. I want to get it so that it definitely loads from that front one. There we go. Right. We've loaded from the front one. And we can go a little bit close to the next one and we can go and load in there. Somewhere there is weeds in this field, and I have got no idea where they might be. So we're going to unfold, and I'm going to put a bit of an overlap so that we make sure that we've definitely got all of the weeds, because there's no other way of telling. That's what I really, really don't like about weeds in the fields sometimes. I can see some burned ones there. can see some burned weeds there. Right, there's a weed that is still green. There's one that has just been burned. Alright, I think we can go right here. We can leave it going. It may be a bit of an overlap on stuff we've already done, but that'll be fine. So then I want to go to you. Take that strap off, and I also want to undo that, and then fold it again, and that's kind of just in the truck a little bit better than it was. Let me try... There we go, right. Now, we put that strap back on like that, and then if I... 
Move you back. I think we can stay there. Strap-on's there. Yep, that's good. Okay, I like that. We can leave that. And these are now both done. You have finished that field. You have finished that field. So I can turn those in. You have... I don't really know what you've done. I'm not really sure what has gone on here. I kind of think I see what he's done. It's bizarre. It's weird. It's like he's some kind of artist who's trying to do some self-expression piece. But, uh, yeah, this, this isn't really the time and the place for that kind of um, art. I'll, I'll be honest with you, mate. Um, you know, this, this, this is the middle of a field. And, quite frankly, there aren't that many people who would even appreciate it around here. Let's go up through there. Right, so he's got... Just a couple passes left and you go and finish that field. That's fine. So I'm going to just dance over to this one. And then I will go to you and I will turn in these two. So we've got that one that I can collect. There's 352 that we get from that one. Um, or whatever it was from the other one. 352 that we get from this one's 1,200 less 800 for the borrowing of the tractor and so on. So that's all of those done. All of these fertilizer jobs... And then I've got harvesting sunflowers in field 2, wheat in field 7, soybeans in 9, sugar beet in 13, and wheat in 19, wheat in 21, canola in 23. So I've got a lot of different harvest jobs. We'll get this one going first. Sugar beet in 13. Where is field 13? Field 13 is... Oh, it's that one over there. Right. So we've got field 13, sugar beet over there, and that needs to go to the supermarket. Uh, over to here, down this way, and up. Actually, from field 13, we'd probably be better to go out this way, up, down, and here. If only we could go across the field of field 19. It'd be so much easier. It really would. Anyway, field 13 is the one that we will do. Helper I has completed their task. That is the fertilizer job done. Uh, I'm just going to go here and we'll get this sugar beet job. This one I need to borrow items, not just accept contracts. So we want to get that one there. And we can take a look in here. I'm going to get my fertilizer contractor over this way. And we're going to drive you back down to the dealership reload and then we're going to go to the next field that we want to work on and then we can start getting the sugar beet harvester out to field 13 and get that one ready i want to keep this one this is our own tractor so we want to kind of keep this one busy i want to keep this one moving so that we can then go and get a mower and start doing some mowing as well we got all of this field that we want to go and mow all um up here we've got a lot of land up here that's ready to roll um, I can't go and make silage because the silage clamp is full. I'd have to go and empty out all of the silage first, which is going to be a considerable task to go and empty out all that silage. I mean, yes, it's definitely doable. It is definitely something that we can go and do. So it's going to take a while before we can get to that point. So we have two other options. We can... Uh, mow again and we can do the second round of mowing uh, the, all the grass we can take that straight to the biogas plant which is kind of what we were thinking of doing anyway and we can do it from there like and then we've just got to transfer it from the silo there to the sale bin which is a lot easier than moving it from our own farm silo down the bottom it's going to be a lot quicker doing it like that so there's definitely a plus to doing taking it over there. It's going to take a little bit longer to move it over there in the first place, but we could do that. We already have the equipment to do all of this. We've just got to finish up the fertilizer jobs first. So we could start working on that, and partway through it, 
I'm hoping that we would be able to upgrade our tractor. Well, not upgrade as such by a third tractor. We will still keep the little one because that one is useful for some things. And we will also have the uh, this electric tractor, obviously. This one's definitely going to be kept as part of the fleet. And then we buy a slightly bigger tractor and we can use that one. And we've got one lined up for that. We The only real job that we would want with a new tractor would be... Uh, if I could bring this one over here. I don't know if it's going to be actually taking from the correct pallet there. I have no idea, but I'm hoping it is. Um... Right, what have I got? I've got 22, 20, and 18 all right next to me here. Got these three. We've got this whole line through... Well, that one's actually doing something different. Uh, field 11 right there. Or we go all the way up here and we do these fields up this end. I'm going to leave those until the end, I think. We're going to head down this side. I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to get field 17 out of the way first. And then we can always come all the way back up and reload before we go to some a little bit closer, I think. Because it doesn't take all that long to get down there with this tractor. It's a little bit faster. Uh, so, yeah, I think maybe we could do this because we will be upgrading our tractor. Now, the only thing is I said I'd like to get the Bura. And I'd like to have that one as part of our fleet. Because I thought that would be quite a decent tractor for doing our upgrade. However, the downside to that one is it doesn't have a very high road speed. So if we're using that one to ferry silage from our field over to the BGA on a regular basis, it's going to take longer to do it. Each trip is going to take a little bit longer. On the other side of that coin, still... There's so many sides to this same coin. I'm starting to think it's not just a coin. Unless it's landed on its edge several times. Um, we've got... The ability then, if we get a bigger... Uh, we get the bigger tractor, we can upgrade our forage wagon, obviously. We can also upgrade our trailers. We can get bigger trailers. Or just have an extra trailer. Tag it onto the back. So we have three of them that we're running along with. And... We would be able to use the extra trailer or extra capacity for ferrying stuff to take more silage to the BGA at one time. I have right of way here. Purely because I have a tractor. And you, do, you, you should always use your size and weight to force other users off the road. Or something along those lines. Maybe I've got that the wrong way round. Maybe I'm not technically supposed to be doing that. Using my size and weight to force other users off the road. I'm sure it was something along those lines. Surely you are supposed to, you know, if you're the bigger and the heavier vehicle, then you just drive right through. Isn't that how it's supposed to be done? I don't know. I'm confused now. I thought that was how it's supposed to be done. I've no doubt that someone will tell me I've got that wrong all this time. Okay, I will just clarify that I know that that is not the correct way to be driving up and down road. And no, I don't go and do that. I definitely don't. I don't often have the larger and heavier vehicle on the road anyway. I do occasionally if I've been driving a tractor around. Uh, right, so you stop exactly where you are and we will take this one. I remember now, herbicide jobs. The goes through herbicide pretty quickly. This is why we kind of want a bigger herbicide tank. If we had a, a bigger herbicide sprayer, it would be an awful lot better. So we'll keep this one on here for a minute. And I'll run up round behind like that. And then get stuck on this sprayer. Back onto you. Reload. And then off we go with the whoosh. Like that. And then you, I'm going to just drive you off to the end of the field over here and park you up so that you're out of the way. And that is two tasks done. Okay, so we've got that one reloaded. We've got the fertilizer spinner whizzing up down the field over there, which means that we're now ready to actually get this one underway. I'm going to hook this one on. Right, let's bring that in round there. 
We've got different steering modes on this one. So if I go there, not Alt-Y, it's Control-Y. There we go. He turns even sharper if you have this steering mode. There, he bends in the middle and he has the four-wheel steering. It's this, that's the best steering mode. I don't think that's the one. I think that one, it doesn't allow the hired help to start on. Actually, it might... It, yeah, I think it's this one. I think the hired help has got to be on the other steering mode. But it then switches over to this one automatically. Which is kind of weird. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So that's, that's all we really need to know. So we get this one down to the sugar beet field and we will start this harvest. And then that can kind of like tickle on as we go and do some of the other things. And then we'll get another harvest, or, harvest job or two underway at the same time. Get those running. We've got our fertilizer ones running in the background, and then we just kind of need to be looking at tractors. Now, I do really like the idea of getting that Bura tractor. It's probably one of the cheapest ones. I also want to use it because it's the Bura, and we haven't seen one of those in the game for quite a while now. Um, it used to be one of the base game, uh, what was one of the base tractors, which was really nice, but we don't get to have that one anymore. So I, I, that's one of the reasons I'd like to have it. I, I just think it would be quite cool to have that one. So I'm just going to unfold this one. Like that. Not too concerned about what we've got over on this side of the field. But I do want to do a pass or two over the bit down the other side. I can also do like one or two passes along this top end. But again, I'm not overly concerned about that bit either. Let's bring you around here. And over there, like that. So I need to go Control H like that. Now, at the moment, I don't have any kind of AI vehicle option at all because of the steering mode that I'm in. One, two, three. Right. This steering mode, though now allows me to have the AI vehicle extension and also standard AI. And I'm going to use standard AI for this. I'm going to bring that up to there and then I'm going to press H on there. And that automatically switches over to the steering mode that we were using just now anyway. Which is kind of weird that it does that. I don't mind. I don't mind at all that it does that. I just think it's kind of odd that... It won't let you start up using that one, but as soon as you start up using the other one, it automatically switches to this one. It might be that the AI extension can't use it, and the AI extension kind of locks in first before it lets anything else happen. And it so it there somehow blocks the other one from being able to do anything. I, I don't know. I, I, it, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so you are coming out over to here. Yes, we do have a oh there is actually a gap in the fence there but um he's gonna be going out onto the road a little bit i'm gonna let him i'm gonna allow this he's gonna ride out onto the road over here he's gonna go over the fences a little bit as well we're gonna allow all of that and we're just gonna ignore it because i wanted to do a few passes along the top end of the field here oops need to press h then okay i actually need to just that over this way a little bit because I think I've because I pressed the wrong button at, wrong, uh, wrong button right then I actually meant to switch over to another machine okay so you have unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today a massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the great book of names to find out some more details about all the names coming past please head into the description and click on the link to the discord to link to another video the link is on the other video uh, please also consider checking out the links there for nitrado who provide gaming servers for games like farming simulator minecraft arc and several others and there's also fanatical who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.